Hi, I'm Brian with the Experimental Aviation Team, and I'm here to tell you about the G5 standby instrument. The G5 can be used as a completely standalone product or integrated into one of our G3X touch systems. First thing I'm going to do is tell you about the standalone features. It has its own sensors for display of airspeed, altitude, and attitude. It has a configurable airspeed tape, so you can change those color bands to anything you want, and you can set up V-speed bugs. It has an altitude pre-selector, and it is a barrel corrected altitude, so I've got my bearing set at barrel setting right down here in the right hand corner. The unit does have its own built-in GPS with an optional external antenna, so I'm getting GPS ground speed here. The G5 does have an optional battery pack that'll give you at least two hours of backup time if you lose primary power for any reason. The unit can be conveniently switched on and off from the power button in front. To adjust the barrow setting, this is a dedicated knob, so all you got to do is turn it. To adjust the altitude pre-selector, press in on the knob, go to the altitude field, press in again, and now I can move the altitude selector up or down. The other thing you'll notice in this menu is I've got a pitch offset. So just like a mechanical attitude instrument, I can come in and adjust my pitch offset up or down. The addition of the CAN bus integration to the G3X system will bring over magnetic heading, and it'll make all of the bugs in the system synchronize. So you'll automatically cross-fill things like the V-speed configuration, the magnetic heading, the barrow setting, and the altitude bug, those will all be synchronized. The G5 also provides a lot of redundant capability when integrated with the G3X system. For example, if you're flying an approach coupled to the autopilot, and if for any reason your G3X displays go offline, the autopilot status, the autopilot modes, all that will be retained and transferred over to the G5 and displayed across the bottom of the screen. Additionally, your lateral and vertical CDI will also be displayed on the G5. Going back the other way, if for any reason all of the GSU AHARS air data computers in the system go offline, the G3X displays can show the G5 airspeed, altitude, and attitude information. So you can still use your big display for primary flight information. So there's a quick overview of the G5 standby instrument, both as a standalone product and as part of an integrated G3X system.